What's going on, boys and girls? This is DJ Rob Alon. That's an EP by Wahid. And this track is called Winston's Midnight Disco. Some of you may recognize this as My Master Sounds Radius 4 Premium Edition. Ridiculous. But I'm not here to talk about that today. This is the first piece of kit I got from Ryan and Andy. Uh, Ryan, obviously, Master Sounds, Andy, most notably, Union Audio. <laughs> Second piece of kit I got from these bad boys was this Master Sounds effects unit. Amazing. Eight effects that you access right here. Just goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful uh, delays, excellent reverb. Uh, you can see distortion here that you can uh, side chain, um, adjust the resonance, the parameter, the filter, beautiful high pass, low pass. You can combine them both, you turn them both on. This thing is so amazing and so flexible. Let me turn it down. The thing I love about this is that it's truly in the spirit of analog and that you have complete control. You have to use your ear. It doesn't come with MIDI. It doesn't come with uh, a bunch of computer algorithms that make us all sound the same. I can literally get a sound out of this that you might not get or might not even want. But the beauty of it is, is that I can customize this to my ear and my sound. I can create an energy and a vibe in the room that's consistent with my expression. And this is what I really love about all their kit, quite honestly, is that I have the control to speak to the crowd the way I want to. And so I may be out with my boy, Doug, who's also a part of Unfiltered Soul, or maybe even out with Nori, also the third member of Unfiltered Soul, which is my crew. and we're all gonna sound different on this thing because as a matter of fact, we're all unique individuals. And this piece of kit delivers that to the dance floor. Love that. But anyway, come back over here. This is my first experience with uh, Master Sounds and Ryan and Andy. When I tell you consummate professionals, uncompromising quality, extraordinary value, buttery, buttery, butter soft, high pass filters on this thing. These pots, these things feel just amazing. The quality, the attention to detail, the very clever way that they integrate the aux and the effects, sends and returns into these units is unbelievable. Uh, more on that later. But when I tell you that the flexibility of this piece of kit and its compact size, I mean, this is my hand, look at that, you know, unbelievably portable but just built to last and i'm telling you the quality and the sound on this thing is just ridiculous but more than that i love the it's powerful but it's subtle at the same time the depth on these things is just unbelievable i mean i can beat you over the head with the bass and the iso or i can just ease off of it a bit through the high pass filter or the iso and just do a, just a buttery smooth blend that's just amazing. Again, customizing and speaking to the audience the way I want to. You and I, we probably wouldn't play the same way on this kit, but that it allows us to play what's in our hearts is what's amazing to me about it. But even past that, you step over here. <laughs> I mean, I can't even tell you guys just when you thought it couldn't get any better, they bring valves back. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but like if it was darker in here, yeah, you can see that red glow. Ah, this thing is just, and these vents let them breathe. They got vents on the sides that also let them breathe. And the warmth on this thing is just unbelievable. Let me turn this up a little bit and let you guys hear it. Playing through JBL.
Now what I like in particular is that you'll notice real bottom heavy on this piece, but look at where I've got the ISO set. And so when I punch, and this is what I love about Master Sounds gear, when I punch, I get a punch at zero. You know, I don't have to turn all the way to 12 plus to get a real thump. Watch this, listen to this. So I like to get my audience used to hearing everything there, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's amazing. But then when you hit it to that zero game, boom. I mean, it's just, ugh, there's nothing like it. It's unbelievable how much this piece of kit gets the gear. It just gets it right. It just, it gets, it's amazing to me how, I gotta turn this down again. I'm getting a little, getting a little too excited. I'm getting too amped up. But what I love about this is that I can tailor this to my room, my sound, and I can play it my way. Too many pieces of gear don't allow you to do that. And I don't wanna name them by names, but you guys know who they are. You've been, you're not new to this. You, you, you've been doing this for, for decades, most of you. And I'm sure even if you are new to it and you've had an opportunity to play on what I just consider real quality pieces, when you go to some of the other brands, you see where they sacrificed. You see where they took the shortcuts. And as I've said before, many people, many people that use mixers that allow you to have a crossfader understand that the crossfader absolutely gives you some versatility for sure in terms of stabs, scratches, and some of the other tricks that we do, uh, phasing the records, flanging the records, uh, our own little version of reverb, you know, beat juggling, all that stuff is made possible through this piece, this fader. The rotary pods really don't allow you to do that. And what's really unique about this mixer is that it combines the best of both those worlds. And that's just something you don't see on the, on, the, on the mixes today. But to me, again, it affords me the opportunity to play the way I wanna play. If I wanna throw some cuts in, if I wanna do some backspinning, if I wanna do some beat juggling, if I wanna do whatever I wanna do, and that's the main thing, as a DJ, whatever I wanna do, I'm able to make that translate to the dance floor. I wanna get it out of my head, I wanna get it out of my heart, I wanna get it out of my hands, and I wanna put that heat on the floor. And this lets me do that. I mean, it's just, dude, I, I, I'm just, I know I'm rambling, but I'm telling you. Look again, see, I have this set, not even at zero, and if I come up on this game, you don't feel like you're missing. And it's not colored, I mean, it's, it's this is, flat to me. I mean, it's not like some mixers, they color the music. This is going to give me the truth in this recording. If there's snap, crackle, pops, it's going to come through. If the mastering on this was horrible, it's going to come through. But if I've got a quality recording, which this is, and I got a quality piece of kit, which this is, you're going to be able to stretch out and do your thing. So I can hit them with a little, ooh, yeah, man. And I don't have to overdrive this thing all up in here. But if I did overdrive it, check it out. It's gonna let me know. And you can hear when you listen to this thing, you can hear what you've been missing in other pieces of kit. And that's what I love about it. I gotta turn this back down again. Um, so you guys can hear me. But again, if I just go from top to bottom, again, you've got these uh, mic inputs. That disables the, obviously the, the phono in but it's all good because even if you aren't using these as mics, you still got aux send and return on all four of these channels. You got your gain trim here so you can dial it in exactly how you want. And if you need verification of your levels there, obviously you've got the VU meters here, but a nice little touch on these is that you have this LED reading too, so you can really know exactly what's going on. I love the feel of this, no doubt about it. This is so retro. It just feels right to me. This is this is where I first fell in love with, with music. You know, my dad's gear and the stuff he wouldn't let me touch. You know, but again, here is where you might feel more comfortable because it might appear to be more accurate. This is definitely redundant, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And again, on each channel, you got a three-band EQ, 
buttery smooth, love it. You got push button Q on every channel. You can activate them all or any sequence you want or not have them on, whatever. You know, and then obviously you got the assignable X and Y or you can turn it off and just have it right here on the rotary. Um, love it. I mean, just every detail, so well thought out, so well built. This one I was privileged enough to get because this is a white face, uh, icy white face plate unavailable to my knowledge uh was really really just blessed and fortunate to be in the right place at the right time to pick this piece of kit up yours can come in silver or black me i got the icy white <laughs> moving over here to this feature set on this side of the mixer again three band ice iso perfect i mean i love this thing you know, a lot of people, I wish I could put this off to the side, but a lot of people are used to what we would say in a more conventional set is, uh, setup is a performance ISO, which goes horizontally instead of vertically. But I can tell you, you know, I've got pretty big hands and I can get through this thing no problem and do my thing. I'm not Joe Clausell with it, but again, if he was on here, he could bang on this thing. <laughs> so you got your master, you got your booth, Split for your IQ, I mean, for your headphones. You can split that signal so you can get, you know, the master on the right side, the Q on the left side. Let me stop this right here. Oh, my knee will get messed up. Um, and I love, again, the infinite amount of control. I can add as much of the mix in my headphones as I want or take it out as much as I want. I can adjust the contour of the fader so I get it a bunch immediately or I get that gradual transitional fade that we're used to in crossfaders. So again, just quality, versatility, value. It's an extraordinary, extraordinary piece of kit. I know I'm rambled on, but I just wanted to give you guys a taste of the gear, the order in which I got it, the things that I love about it. And don't get me wrong, I got gear. <laughs> I got gear. But this right here, whew, so if you're thinking about it, stop thinking about it. Just buy it. You will not be disappointed. This thing can do it. I'm telling you, it's an amazing, amazing piece of kit, an amazing value. Best of both worlds, in my opinion, rotary and the crossfader. So if you're a versatile DJ and you like to get it in all kinds of ways and just push yourself in terms of your creativity and your skills on the decks, this to me is the best of both worlds in that bar none i'm telling you you will not be disappointed the sound the warmth the clarity the just precision in terms of how this thing is built it's just unbelievable and the sound that i'm able to get out of it um this this video doesn't do it justice but again if this is a little too much for you you know no problem you can always step to this master sounds radius 4 which is amazing the portability on this thing the buttery soft high pass filter, just the build quality, the value again here, it's unbelievable. They also have the opportunity to integrate the effects into this unit perfectly because it was designed and built for all this Master Sounds gear. And in terms of adding another dimension to your sets and just the creative versatility this, this affords you, eight different FX on here wonderful uh, ability to adjust so many different parameters and, and elements of the sound that you can get out of this thing with the high pass, low pass filter. Ugh, I mean, you know what? I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta get back on these decks. So, got any questions, hit me in the comments below. But if not, this is DJ Rob Alon, live from Las Vegas, Unfiltered Soul in the building. Shout out to my man, Doug, shout out to my man, Nori. Represent Unfiltered Soul Worldwide. And big ups to Ryan and <laughs> Andy. Just uh, amazing gear, amazing gear. You guys might have slept on this brand in the past, but I'm telling you, they're making big noise, doing big things. Again, DJ Rob Alon, live from Las Vegas. I am out.